Most people bleed red, but we, the Genesis Pirates, always bleed purple. Hello and welcome to Discord 101, a series that breaks down everyone and everything in the Discord world. Today we are going to be examining an infamous crew renowned for their obsession over rainbows and the colour purple, the Genesis Pirates. Within the year of 2018, Grandline Review created a Discord server to further enhance his YouTube community. In the server's early stages, the four original Yonko, Robin the Joker, Lueno the Whale, So Umne, and Nicki Minaj Javli were appointed as Yonko in no less than a week of the server's creation. These four Yonko governed a designated crew. The Brady Bread Boys, also known as the Brad Crew, the Holy Crab Crusaders, the Octopod Symbiote Alliance, and of course, the crew we shall be focusing on today, the Genesis Pirates. The Genesis Pirates, or Genesis for short, are classified as a non-canon crew. Nevertheless, they've adopted characteristics relating to the One Piece world, such as creating flags, ships, mascots, islands, devil fruits, you name it. And in the left hand corner, introducing the first Yonko and founder of the Genesis Pirates, it's Javli. Jav, or Javli, was infamous for their rudeness and crowned worst Yonko unanimously as they went against Genesis's core beliefs. To this day he is ridiculed and mocked for his overbearing personality for comments such as these. I have things to do sweetie, time to be a stripper, hit me all you want, I can go all day. And I myself could probably go on all day as well about how vulgar and generally disrespectful they were. Despite their rudeness, Genesis amassed quite the following as several members flocked underneath the Genesis banner. Some of these members included Chloe D. Fire, Kalos, Tactical Groot, Lycos, and Cupid. Together, they were the first generation of Genesis. Jav's reign lasted no more than two weeks as they stepped down and promptly left the server, but was later banned leaving behind an opportunity for someone to raise Genesis out of the ashes. With the Yonko seat now empty and Genesis in disarray, the second Yonko of the Genesis Pirates, Chloe D. Fire, rose to the occasion. Chloe, without a doubt, was quite the step up from Javli. Not to mention they are the genius behind our beautiful flag which represents us still today. In fact, Chloe was the exact opposite of Javli in terms of personality. They were genuine and quite pleasant, however their reign as Yonko was deemed slightly controversial. Before that however, Chloe did a lot of good for Genesis. She recruited heavily for the crew, amassing the largest following out of crews for a short while. She recruited some of the most famous Genesis members, including Gogeta, Billo, Catbeard, Naruse, AB Positive and Xyles, and helped in the construction of Genesis's mighty vessel which was used in the great hunt for devil fruits. However, there's one evil thing lurking within Genesis that had to be exterminated once and for all. Kalos, a loyal follower of Javli, sought out to perform the evil dark arts, which would summon Jav back into the server and plunge it into darkness. To prevent the coming of the Dark Ages, Chloe had Kalos walk the plank and leave the server, performing the sacred Banhammer spell of light. It is said to this day, however, that Kayla still roams the seven seas, hoping to find Jav and bring an end to the server. As for why Chloe's reign as Yonko was deemed controversial, these claims stemmed from the submission of the Song War, the Character War, and the very own members of Genesis. Chloe's eagerness was misconstrued as narcissism, which was according to her not her intentions whatsoever. What drove other members outside of Genesis to dislike Chloe was in fact the character war submission. Essentially Chloe used the war, which focused on creating your own character as a chance to further expand her original character, which ironically enough was named Chloe. Nonetheless, Genesis had voted for Chloe's original character to be submitted for the public to vote, and let's just say... It didn't do so well at all. Consequently, because the character was named Chloe, outside members felt as though Chloe was being a narcissist, when in actuality she used the war to further develop her own creation. 
These controversial views led to her unfortunate resignation. Unlike Jarvli, Chloe remained within the server and within the Genesis crew itself. Considering the amount of disdain and animosity bet against her from both inside and outside members of Genesis, a normal member would most likely be gone by now, but her sheer willpower to remain within Genesis only proves her genuine love for Genesis as a whole. With another of the four leaders' positions now vacant, this allows for someone amongst the Genesis Pirates to take change. Chloe's reign set the very precedent for a new administrator to take command of the disarrayed crew. Introducing the third Yonko of the Genesis Pirates, Gogeta. Gogeta had quite the handful to deal with as the new Yonko for Genesis. Not only was he inheriting a crew that was divided more than ever, with several of the commanders putting down their swords and joining another crew, Genesis had yet to win one of the coveted Yonko Wars. The crew had come close several times, but failed to bring home a single victory. Hence, he put the crew's full resources in scouring the Seven Seas for a suitable base to call home. Genesis eventually discovered the island of Eden, a barren island destroyed by war, and Gogeta took it upon himself to bring life to the island again and make it Genesis's headquarters. We transformed the island into an amusement park named Arcadia Park that was open to all. No matter what their affiliation was, as long as they maintained peace on the island and respected all races. Underneath the island lay Genesis's hidden base where their operation stemmed out of. With their seasonal island newly named Paradise under their belt, they finally won their first war under the directive of Gogeta and were once again united. Shortly after the finale of the war, the four Yonko convened and agreed to elect first mates to help them in the management of the crews. Initially, Gogeta appointed Chloe as the original first mate. This was met with some contention, sadly, due to hostile feelings resurfacing from the former crew members, and she decided to step down in order to keep the peace. As Chloe stepped down, Gogeta selected a new first mate to take the former Yonko's place, introducing the second first mate. Tactical Groot. As soon as Tactical entered the fray as a first mate, instantly he was ready to explore with his newly formed companion. Arguably, Gogeta and Tactical Groot have the best first mate Yonko relationship. For example, their teamwork allows them to host events, create concepts, and they enjoy their company. Their understandable and undeniable chemistry has been made obvious as they both remain in their positions to this day. Moving on to bigger and better things, Genesis continued to thrive as they adopted their own mascot the Sun Codal, Urinen, illustrated by one of our cherished former commanders Wishful. The Sun Codal was one of the original species that thrived on Eden before it succumbed to war, but now resides as one of the protectors of the island the Genesis pirates reside on, Paradise. Once Genesis had their base of operations, they set their eyes on expanding their empire. They started manufacturing various weapons in their underground facility, experimenting on different uses of dials and imbuing weapons with Haki. However, despite their tremendous growth internally, from the outside, Genesis had the least members. To make matters worse, it seemed like the Holy Crab Crusaders and the Bread had decided to team up. This forced Genesis to seek out the Octopod Symbiote Alliance and form their own partnership. Initially, the Emperors of the Sea were not too fond of the idea of having the crews work together. Genesis and the Octopods had fought various times in the past due to their conflicting interests and were once bitter enemies. However, both Cheese D Hat and Gogeta saw the threat the newly named Red Bread Redemption posed to their existence. They proposed a truce to set aside their differences and take out the threat at their doorstep. Genesis and Octopods need some type of name to classify themselves as, something unique, something that pops, something that will revolutionize modern discord. Thanks to their former Yonko cages, they forged the Union of Sophisticated Squids and Rainbows, or the USSR for short. They put their collective minds together and forged a flag to symbolize their alliance. However, it wasn't as favoured as their opposers, the Red Bread Redemption. Hurt from this recent loss, the crews decided to depart on a voyage across the world. 
They would search in every corner of the land, searching for the ultimate devil fruit to trump their foes. Rumors say that some of the members even crossed dimensions and absorbed other worlds into a single fruit in order to find the ultimate devil fruit. Their salvation came from a lonely island in North Blue, the Tien Tien no Mi, or the Garden Garden Fruit. The fruit allowed the user to grow plants based on the seeds they consumed on their body. Armed with this dangerous fruit, they took it to war and they beat their competitors and secured their first victory. Meanwhile, Genesis continued their experimental research finalizing their secret weapon, the Unity Shield, which is constructed of various dials used to repel enemy attacks with a powerful defense. They mass produced the shield and made it more streamlined, giving all the commanders a shield to protect their fellow crewmates with. All in all, the Genesis pirates have evolved immensely over the months, starting off with a corrupt Yonko, along with a disembodied crew, Kalos, Jav, <coughs> Kalos. But in all honesty, with the help of the current Yonko and his first mate, Genesis finally have main stability, and from here on out they seek to rise to the occasion, each and every time. And now for a couple of fun facts about the Genesis Pirates. Each member of Genesis has a designated rainbow next to their name. The flag we currently possess would have been replaced by this flag. What an abomination that was. The USSR's origin stems from the Soviet Union. You don't really want to mess with those guys. The symbol on the Genesis flag has often been compared to a fidget spinner, when really it came from Kalos just typing in Unity in Google Images. And now for a truly useless fact. Jarv Lee, the first Yonko of the Genesis Pirates, had an overbearing obsession over rap superstar Nicki Minaj. What a strange man. And that pretty much does it for the Genesis Pirates. Don't forget to subscribe to the Grandland Review YouTube channel and check out the Discord server where you can check out the daily shenaniganry that occurs on a daily basis. God damn it, Cages, we always have to blame you. Don't forget to demote your simpletons and eat a bag of dicks while you're there. This has been the Genesis Line Review, and have a great day, you magnificent sons of bitches.